day we met. The Weather Channel had predicted a sunny day, but we, we were praying for rain. So we composed a lightning and water concerto, written in the key of introductions and first impressions. And when we first heard the rhythmic rumbling of distant thunder, we looked at each other with smiles that said, I like where this is going. <laughs> you. You were the first hurricane that ever burst the levees of my emotions, and I knew that no life jacket could save me from the oncoming floods, but I surrendered to your majesty, and I was hit head on with a rush of salt water, and all of the nightmares that had ever slipped past my dream catcher, I heard that drowning yourself in someone is like drinking a glass of water. Yes. I was there the day the Titanic fell in love with an iceberg. I was the man overboard, struggling to keep head above water until I saw you, a lifeboat, salvation, crashing through the frigid waters of my uncertainty. And I told you that I had a weakness for girls that liked staring at the night sky, but I never knew that anyone could make the stars of my zodiac sing like a gospel choir. And like a messiah bathed in golden light, you turned my every word into hallelujah. You were the face that launched a thousand ships across the ocean of my pathetic, poetic attempts to impress you. But I guess it worked. Because we run races chasing the sun over the horizon, our laughter in perfect harmony with a butterfly's wings. You told me that you had painted the northern lights inside your eyelids. I said that I had written the Grand Canyon into my lips, and the river of teeth flowing beneath those cliffs had never spoken a name that was as beautiful as yours. There was this one day where we both flew kites, and we wondered if they ever get jealous of birds. So together, we built a kite out of photographs and enough string to fly us to the moon. You were the sticks and stones that blessed my bones, that rattled my brain, and sent me on the ride of my life. I held on to anything that I could reach for as long as those tiny muscles in my fingers could contain. However, I realized it's much more fun if you put your arms up and unbuckle your seatbelt. I loved how you made up love stories about the storm clouds that loomed overhead the day we met. As each raindrop graced my skin, I pretended that they were diamonds that had fallen from your eyes and after the rain. We followed the breadcrumbs to the end of the rainbow but those short Irish douchebags stole our pot of gold. So you said, let's go beat the shit out of them. And I thought, damn girl, where the fuck you been all my life? You write poems that shatter time zones, make mountains topple, and make the Big Bang seem like a cigarette lighter next to your flash of lightning. And we don't need paper to write our poetry. Our metaphors will play on the mazes of roads between us. We will defy gravity and endure to the edges of time because you are the past, the present, and the tidal wave that I've always dreamt of. You are the eye of the storm. And the Weather Channel said today's going to have plenty of sunshine. And I was just wondering if you would like to make a hurricane with me. Wow.